Oh, hello! We got a little gank bush going on. But I'm Lily. I don't give a fuck. Okay, welcome to Haunted Mines. Let's take a look at the teams. Oh, we're both running double support. Joy. I don't know what it is, but it seems like since the last patch, they love putting mirror matches in quick match. As you can see, both teams have an Abathe, both teams have a Tarand, and both teams have double support. Hmm. I would give the edge to... Our team. Because I'm going DPS Lily. And DPS Lily is best Lily. What the fuck is going on down here? Why would you do this? Um, for the first talent we're going to take is... Uh, what's it called? Gale Force! This will increase the damage of our e ability by 50% and 50% is quite a lot of percent. Now, I've already... I've, I've, I've just recorded this video and turned out... It turns out Shadow Play, which is what I'm testing out right now, decided not to record the second half of the match. So, bastard Shadow Play. So hopefully this will be a quick game and it doesn't last too long before Shadow Play shits itself and uh, we, we have to start again. So if you don't know how Lily works, oh god, it's it's Tyrael Free Week. It's Tyrael Free Week. They have a lot of front line. Just realised. Just realised when I see the gigantic model of Leoric and the glowing floating angel of Tyr Tyrael. It really puts it into perspective that they have a lot of frontline. Oh dear, Uther. Be careful, be careful, Uther. So if you don't know how Lily works, she has a Q ability and it's a, it's an auto target. And you throw it out and it heals, prioritizes heroes and heals whoever's in range the lowest amount of health. Heals them a little bit of health. Um, you can't just hold the button down, which is what a lot of people do. You just hold the Q ability down instead of tapping it when needed. And it will just continuously spam heal people. Our W ability, we attach a Cloud Serpent. Yes, Cloud Serpent to a hero. And once detached, it will last for 8 seconds and it will just auto-attack people. Oh god. I'm coming to help. We should get some help. I'm not sure why Uther ran the other way. But I'm gonna have to piece the fuck out, I think. Unless we can kill this camp and use Tyrael as bait. But he got out. Okay. I will need a hand down here. I'm not the best at clearing camps. Ufa! Ufa, help! I really doubt we're going to kill him, but we can try. We can try. We're not too far off for a, for a double support comp. Just run. Just run, Ufa. Ufa, run. The next talent we're going to get is... Mass Vortex. That was the sound of Uther dying. Now, I'd love to help, but I have... No mana, and getting that regen globe made me die. So I should not be greedy. I didn't even collect Conjurer's Pursuit. I'm just a greedy twat. Okay, so the enemy team is sticking together. Our team, not. We are running around solo and then wondering why we're all dying. Please just fucking... Get in the mines, get in the mines, we need to kill the boss in the mines, I got hit by that owl. Alright, here we go. In comes the cavalry. Cue horse footstep noises. Okay, great. And we just, oh god, no, dodged like a pro. Right, that's exactly where Vala shouldn't be. Vala is our only ranged assassin, so she needs to be ranged. And not standing in the middle of the enemy team. Usually a good bet. Now I'm running out of healing. But we're managing to keep Tyrael up. Good job. Oh, we have an Abathur. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that would have went so much better if Vala wasn't first one in.
Uh, I'm not sure. But we good, we good. Uh, they're going to get most of the skulls, but it's only the first golem, so he's relatively weak. So, I mean, at this point, we need to get mercs. Honestly. Uh, our A ability is what we're going to be picking up a couple of talents for. And by default, it hits two people, but we're talented to hit four people. And it hits them, does damage. And lags, apparently. And it also blinds them. And when they are blinded, they cannot use auto attacks. Well, they can, but they miss. Uh, next time, we're going to take this Lightning Serpent. This means our Cloud Serpent now has bouncy attacks and can effectively cleave. Lovely jubbly. So I would rather defend since they have a much stronger golem. I do believe the first goal. Oh, oh no, we caught them. We capped them giants a bit too early. Oh, shit. To be honest, Vala's not doing anything of much up there. She should be down here doing the damage. She is our damage and she's not here. Um... Can we get a couple of auto attacks on? We can give Tyriel a serpent, at least. And that'll be enough. Uh, I do believe our Abathur got Mule, so we're okay. Yep, Mule's just been called in. We'll give Tyriel the serpent. And Mule just got instantly killed. Great. Alright. We didn't take too much damage there. I'm going to quickly uh, have a look at the statue while I, well, statue while I get um, a, um, a fountain. We're not doing too bad. We're not doing too brilliant, but we're not doing too bad. Uh, are they going to go for middle mercenaries? Quite possibly. Best polymorph ever. Best polymorph ever. Oh, Brightwing. Nearly. Yeah. Oh, oh, Brightwing's coming back out. And that's because help's on the way. Most of the time, if you see a low health hero that was running away, now coming to fight again, it's clearly because they have backup. Um, get away from the gates, please. We kind of need to get 10, if possible. If possible. If possible. If that's a thing we could do, that would be smashing. Killing heroes. Oh, well, if we can kill a hero, that's great. But it's not the priority right now. We are going to pick up the Jug of a Thousand Cups, even though we are going DPS Lily. Uther doesn't have a healing ultimate. Um, so he might have gone for... He might go for either. Either will be a good option. Uh, their Tyriel is now a bot. That's good for us. Let's see what Uth has gone for. He's gone for the shield. Okay, so we're going a little bit more defensive than usual. Best stun! Oh my god! Oh my god! The bot Tyriel. I've, ne I've never been killed by a bot. I've never been killed by a bot. But I'm on my way back. The friendly team is now walking around as a group, which is what you should be doing. Um, I'm going to be a little bit late to this team fight. But it's okay, guys. I'm bringing heals. I'm bringing heals. Keep going. I got the heals.
We just need the damage now. We got the heals. We need the damage. And mana, apparently. The, <laughs> the entire team's out of mana. The entire team's out of mana. So again, Vala is the one going off on her own. And she's the one that we don't want to go off on her own. Ay, oh, dear me. This is a tough little game, and to be honest, I'm not playing my best recently. Um, you know, things like dying to a bot. Although they did use two ultimates on me, still, I died from a bot. It's probably one of my more embarrassing moments. Yes! Bot Tyrael! We don't quite have uh, a slow on our E just yet. We have our ultimate back up, so we can pretty much keep all of this friendly team alive. We want to keep out of range of Brightwing, remember, because she has Polymorph. And Polymorph will fucking wreck us. Good, we decided not to go for their tanks. That's a wise decision. Although we are letting their Brightwing just run rampant here. Botterial going down. And this should allow us to get the golem rather easily. If Uther wants to tank. Be careful of this. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. And we should be good. Now, perhaps they've gone for middle mercenaries. I'm not sure. They are definitely going to cap our our things. Sure. Definitely. Or not? Did Bri did Brightwind not take uh, Brightwind didn't even take bribe. So grabbing the giants is a good idea, but we're not doing that, apparently. Uh, we did pick up hindering winds, which now means our E ability will now slow. Which is good for engaging and disengaging. It will allow Vala to catch up, get away, Tyrael catch up, get away, etc, etc. We could really do with the golems that we didn't collect. If there's a mule going, a mule would also be really, really handy right now. This fort is going to die without a mule. I don't think my wind works on blinding the golem. Come on! Oh, no, we're not gonna do it! Come on! Fuck. Now, are we gonna risk getting uh, middle mercenaries? Mercenaries. Oh, oh, Violet, be careful. Dodging all the shit. Dodging all the shit. Leoric not the best person for the, the Uther stun. Because his E makes him unstoppable. That is the worst place to stand on top of the golem. If you stand on top of the golem, you do realise the golem grants vision to the enemy team. Even the remains of the golem grant vision. So, if at all possible, don't run. Oh, hello! We got a little gank bush going on. But I'm Lily. I don't give a fuck. Uh, I'm gonna go and hang on. Be careful! I need to get some mana and health. No, Tyrael! Oh, shit! I was like a second away. Are we missing somebody else? Yeah. I keep thinking we're missing somebody, but it's just because we have Abatha. If all of you want to chase me, please be my fucking guest. Like I said, I'm a lily.
Okay, so that was a bad engagement for us. We should have definitely waited. Uh, Tyriel needed to wait for me to get closer. Uh, I could have possibly not went back to the fountain. These are all possible things that could have happened, but did not happen. This is a futile... This is futile. Sure. We all need to go in as a group. Vala, you okay? Vala? Oh, dear Vala. Okay, that should give us enough time to kill one of them. We're going to get Serpent Psychic now, which means uh, whenever we drop a Serpent... Tyriel, no! I save you! Stay next to me, Tyriel. I save you. Have a, have a Serpent. Oh, the Divine Shield from Uther coming out as well. This may turn the tide of the game. Oh, God, dude. Fuck off, Tyriel. God damn it. Right, let's grab some uh, let's grab some of these camps now. I've got this ghost bastard on my tail. We should be fine. We should be fine. Oh, you fucked Brightwing. You fucked. My thanks to you, healer. This is quite a swings and roundabouts kind of game going on here. Uh, there's been quite a few almost team wipes and for 16 minutes in the game there hasn't been a lot of kills or deaths it's 10 to 7 so not too bad uh, this is this is dangerous looks like they might get that top fort I'm not going to teleport out. I'm just going to go down the bottom here. Um, giants. Are useless now. Once the first fort is gone, the giants are pretty useless. Because of the path that they take once they've been capped, they kind of go down, and down here and then down here. So if the golem has passed this point here, which it kind of is now, then they just run towards the enemy's fort. Are we defending? It looks like we've capped the giant. The only time we capture our giants is the worst time to capture them. Typical. This is a waste of time. Because now that the golem is here, if you watch now, they're just going to run down here and totally ignore it. So, we've got to make sure that we give somebody else the cloud serpent, and that means we get a free one. And if there were any minions here, along with the golem, we'd also be cleaving them down. The double serpent cleave thing is is rather uh, rather strong, and in team fights, I reckon that's where most of the damage comes from. To be honest, as you can see, we are third on damage. Not to be. That's no surprise though with with the team comp that we have. Are we going to get a judgment? Are we going to get a judgment? Oh. oh. The tension was mounting. Oh, they have mule as well. That's why we haven't killed as many as I thought we would have. Jug coming out. We're going to keep up Tyriel and all of our good jazz people. Uh, there is an Abatha right there. But we do manage to take down Leoric. We are all getting annihilated by the enemy defences. I'm getting hit by this tower. Alright, we are now out of range of the tower. And that should be good. It should be good. Ooh. Oh, no. I should have checked a lot earlier whether their avatar had gotten mule. If your team has mule, or if the enemy team has mule... You want to make decisive pushes and um, kill a fort. Because if you leave a fort partially partially destroyed, it will only get healed back up. So it's basically a waste of your time. Unless you kill it entirely. Uh, for, the first next for the final talent, we're going to get Kung Fu Hustle. 
which once we are damaged will allow our all of our cooldowns to recharge at two and a half times as fast for like three seconds or something is it three seconds or one second yes 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 very good oh look at me i'm a lone lily what am i going to do oh no i'm a lone lily oh god somebody please help me <laughs> We didn't actually manage to kill anybody in all of that. Yes, we did. We got their healer. That's a good That's a good person to kill. We actually killed Tyrael as well. Now we can back out. And, uh, oh, Vala walked to me. Eh. There you go. There's a little, a little cup of brew for you. There's another one. I mean, unless we can kill this guy, that would be good. Well, all right then. That forces him back. So yeah, this Kung Fu Hustle works, it's basically a, an upgrade to your passive, although it doesn't have the passive anime uh, logo. Uh, basically, Lily's passive is whenever she takes damage, she gets movement speed for one second. Whenever our trait is active, it, we also then benefit from Kung Fu Hustle. I've never actually checked if it works on your... Heroic. Hang on. Let's read the abilities. So abilities is everything, I assume, which means your ultimate as well. So I mean, if I used my ultimate in that team fight, which I I might have, I can't remember. But if I did, then I could intentionally take damage to get my ultimate back faster. That's an ingenious strat. Ingenious. I don't think this Tyrande has landed any of her stuns. And you know what? It's pretty hard too. So if it's pretty hard too. So I don't blame her. But we do manage to attain a 100 school golem. So it looks like Vala wants to defend. We should definitely all push. With a 100 school golem, you definitely all want to push. Push. All five. Okay, well, we lost Abatha, so <laughs> never mind. I guess that strategy's not working. We need to take it easy until the team gets here. This Leoric all on his own. This Leoric all on his own, and we're not doing anything about it. We should capitalize upon this and just kill him. Okay, in comes the uh, panda-sized cavalry. Okay, that looks like most of their stunts have been used. It out comes the healing. So if we can try and get some minion damage. If 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 we can try and get some minion damage. Perhaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely recharges your ultimate faster. Looks like we may lose Tyrael here. Oh, wait, no, the Divine Shield coming out to save the fucking day. Down to 20 seconds. But we're not even going to get that far. GG. DPS Lily. All right. As you can see from the stats screen, we didn't top the DPS like I have done in the past with Lily. But you can see, if you look at our DPS compared to the enemy team's DPS, we out-DPS their Tyrael, their Abatha, their Brightwing, and nearly their Tyrande and Leoric as well. And because we got the Mass Vortex, we, we were probably um, blocking a lot of damage with all of that blinding. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing. I hope to all see you in the next video. Goodbye!